Hi everyone, this is Hannah from Kisscraft. So today I'm going to show you uh, the April new release with all the projects that I have made. So the first one is this uh, large book. So this is the die set. You will get the words, uh, a lot of words inside and I will show you. Okay, since I only cut this happily ever after, so this is show you how this would look like super pretty a font and you will get this piece to add at this part and this piece to add at this part just like the mini book one that we released years ago and this is the frame that you could add on in front of your book and also you could make it into a shaker. This is the part to cut the acetate. And you will also get this bowl that I used to uh, layer on top. And yeah, just let me show you the thing that I made. So I first, I made a box. It will look like this. And I added this chamomile flowers this is also new in the store and I will show you the die. So uh, these are the dies. You will get two sizes and you will get six flowers in one plate and four flower centers. And so for also for the big one, and it looks like this. And when you cut out and layer it, it looks like this. Super pretty, right? I will show you other. See, the, this is the blue one. And I also added this hot one, hot ones that is released in last November, maybe, or, or December, I'm not sure. And this is the dye that I refer to. This is so pretty as the one on the background. So it looks like this. And for this one, for the box, I used the box making strip. So we have three sizes for the box making strips. And I used the uh, smallest size and it looks like this. I cut it two times. See, I, uh, this is one time and this is the second. So I cut it in two times and fold it like so and trim off the top edge part. So it's, it makes the box super easier. And I also made another one. Uh, well, I made this one just around this edge. And I was thinking to, you know, just um, this is the top and I'm going to make a small one because we have the layering piece for the for this book so I'm going to uh, I will I was thinking about making this box part using this one as the basic part so yeah the box would be good to put together but it's really very time consuming to make this because see like this i have to uh, curve it as this all these um, angles and it really is a little time con consuming to do this so yeah i think it's a little um, com complex to make if i show it as an example because it really takes a uh, more time and so I think it's not a good example to show you. So yeah, I stopped making this. I only made this uh, bottom, uh, this top part. Then I think about just, you know, uh, fold it in this part and this would be super easier to do and much uh, time saving. So I used uh, this part, this idea to make the box and I think it's very fun. So you could make different books of box and sending as the swap since it has pretty large space for you to put uh, swap things inside. So I think it's, it would be a good idea to do it like this way. 
Yeah. So this is the box that I made. And then I also made a mini album set. So with this, uh, this is the connecting piece that is also in this set. So you will get these two pieces to make the connecting page. And I added this um, front, shaker front as an as like this and I also added this one so for this bow I only stick at the top part and used a bling here and I just curl it little so it's a little dimensional and I really love this effect so this is the first page and for the inside I just uh, cut another page to make the pocket and add our two tags here. This is from the Doodle Box. I think the Fun at the Park collection. And for this one, this is the rainbow that I made. It was the rainbow back topper set. And I just add two, uh, two circle here. And also this cute bow. This bow is from the safety pin set. And I think it's very cute to make it like a mini the uh, rainbow. And I add this word say tree. So this word is a new uh, new set from KLJ YP store. And yeah, I used a lot of words in this mini album. And let me show you very quick all the words they will they would have in the set. And I love this font, it's super pretty. So you have the word imagine. I love this tiny hearts, very cute. And this is the magical memories, super cute, right? And this is the happy day. And this is the hurry and celebrate. Also, we have the word play. I think they are super cute. This is a good size to add on your mini albums. And I really love the font. Yeah, so these are the new things. I will link it in the description box below if you want to have the link. And so this one, I made a pocket at this part and I added this chamomile flowers and the vines here. And I also add this happy day here. Super cute, right? And so for this part, I just Add this frame here so I could put an, um, you know, the pictures here. And this is the poppy flowers in the last uh, March release. And so for this one, I also add a pocket at this part. And this is the back side and add words magical memories here. And I add a frame here so I could put photos here because I want to make more pages. And this is the bow, the cute bows in this release. So I use the big size. So super cute, right? And you just need to, you know, uh, put this bunny rings first. Oh, sorry, put, uh, how to say that? Uh, stick this part first and then add a layer piece on top just to hide the flaps. Also, you could also uh, just make the spine by yourself just like at this part since this part is more straight and able to make as the spine page, spine to collect the pages. So you have different ways to make the book. And I think this book it would be very uh, versatile since you have so a lot of use to use this die set and it's really large enough for you to make albums or make other things. Yeah, so I love this set. So for this box making strips, I only uh, made one example in this box. And this is uh, how it cut out. So you could use this flap just to um, see if the, if the border is not wrong enough, you could uh, stick it like so to make a longer strip and then just fold it 
around just uh, do the measurements uh, and see well to fold these lines to make the box or make the bag so it's very easy to make this to use this one to make the box and the bags and the width is very large so yeah it's very great for uh, making the boxes for the swaps and to send to your friends since it will make a very large box or a large bag so yeah i love this one and i'm definitely going to make more bags and boxes with this die set since i have a rainbow mini album in the store and yeah i would think it would be very cute to make a box or make a bag i think with that rainbow since it's a really large size and i saw christian made our rainbow organizer i think just years ago and i really love that and i want to take a try so yeah if i finish that i will show you so yeah let me see the next one so next is this magical part magical back topper so you have the word magical here this code is here and this is the times and this is the to make the layering piece and so it will look like this see all these stitching lines around it is very cute so yeah it will look like this also a great size for the for packaging your uh, goodies and the next one is this cute garland set and you could layer them on top and this one is to add at the both here so yeah it's very cute so this is this one i just add some white blades on top and let me show you so this is the one that i used and it has plenty of you know of these blades really a big quantity to use and i think it's super cute and here is this one see these tiny bows here and for the are white because it's too tiny to add the bling here and so i use this our gel pen just to color it on top and i think it's very cute and this is the boy version and this one the gloves and the next one is this Magic Park Flex uh, die set. So you get five words in the set and you got this one that you could layer uh, on top of the words just as a cap. You also need to use this stitching part in the Summer Flex set to complete the project. And see, it looks like this. I was thinking about adding some um, trims here. And I love this pom-poms on top. So this is this one. Dream, cheers. And this one, smile. And this is the flat daisy flower in the match release. And happy. And this one is magic. So for this top part, see, you could add it like so. So just add it at the back side of the words. Look how cute. See, like this. So let me see. So it will look like this. Or you could add it on this part. Super cute, right? So this is a very cute um, add-on for you to add on the words and the next one is this cute popsicles you have the big and the small signs so it looks like this super yummy right and this is the uh, small size so here you can see the size difference and this is the strawberry flavor And this one is the watermelon flavor. So super cute, right? It would be also very cute to add some bows here at this part. I forgot to add them, but I think it would be cute. And the next one is this uh, magic word set. 
So you got the word happiest place, princess, magic, castle, and rice. The font is very cute. The next one is this magic wand shaker. So it's a small shaker. So you need to use CBs to um, put inside. But they are still pretty cute. See, it looks like this. And this is the top. Look how cute that you could add on your cars. And this would be very cute as an embellishment on your projects. See, it would be cute to put on your back toppers. And the next one is this very cute bird. And look how cute this bird. Super cute, right? And you could make it like this or like this. So this way it has the two wings and it has this tiny bow. And this is the wing. And you also get this tiny flower on top. And then we have this mom and dad shaker. So this is the dad shaker. Super cute, right? And this is the mom one. I think it would be also very cute to ask this, add this flower at the center to represent the O. And the next one is this uh, 3D castle box set. So you will see these two in the same link and as two options, so you could choose them. And you only need to cut this two times, and this two times, and this one time, and this two times. To, and this is the window part to create this part. And this is the top flat part. So it's super easier to make. And I have shown it in the sneak peek video, so it will look like this. Sorry, my flag didn't stand good. So you could decorate your castle. And this is new butterfly set in the KOJ YP store. Look how cute. It did come with uh, three sizes. Let me find them for you. <laughs> Okay, so this is the biggest size and this is the smallest size. Look how cute. And this is the medium size. And for the tower part, it's a very simple to assemble. So let me see. So this is to make the top lid part and this is to make the size. And this is to make the size and this is the bottom part. This is to make the door and you could leave it like so or take out this window part and it looks like this. And it opens like so. So it's also a great size. It has pretty large space for you to put goodies inside and it be, will be very cool to have it like this. This is a matching size to make a 3D castle and you know it's great to put as a gift box. Oh, I forgot to show you this one. So this is also the butterfly I used and this is the flower shaker. It's the flower candy shaker. So it looks like this. You also get this candy part to make it as candies. But I think it's very cute without those swirl part. And I really, really love this butterfly. Super beautiful. And this is the uh, cute both set, big and small size. Since I showed it in the previous release video, I just want to show it again with the things that I made. So you could make it just... Uh, with or without this head part. I think it's very cute. So this is a small size and a big size. You could see the difference. You could make two different bowls. 
uh, out of this this one so yeah this is all the uh, projects i want to share today and i will also be making some more in the coming week i think so yeah hope you like this and if you have any questions please let me know and so thank you for watching i'll catch you in my next craft video have a nice day bye bye